Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's session. Today we are going to learn about very important thing. Can you guess what are we going to learn today? Can you guess? Type your answers in the chat box. What are we going to learn today? Today we are going to learn about people who use different types of tools. Now, do you know anything about tools? If yes, tell yes in the chat box. And if you don't know, then say no in the chat box. Come on. Do you know anything about tools or any examples related to tools? Type in your answers in the chat box. So let me tell you what are tools. Tools is an instrument or simple piece of equipment that you hold in your hands and use it to do a particular kind of work. Different tools are used for different professions. For example, a teacher uses a blackboard and a duster, while a journalist uses a mic and a camera. Do you know any other examples now about tools? Type your answers in the chat box and keep typing all the time. Now, can you guess who are these people? I'm not asking you to guess their profession, but what are they called? It is two letter words wherein first letter starts with C and the second letter starts with H. Can you guess now? Yes, absolutely right. They are community helpers. But do you know what is community? If you know any word related to community, type your answer in the chat box. Come on, everybody. Keep typing. What is community according to you? All right, now read along with me. Community is where all the people live in a particular place or area and are considered as a group. Can you say that group with me? Good job. But now tell me what is who are community helpers according to you? So tell me, who are community helpers? You can now tell me any word related to community helpers, whatever you understand with that word. Yes, now read along with me. Community helpers are those who provide services to help others in their community. Now, can you write down different jobs done by the community helpers? Now you can mention the profession in the chat box. Yes, it's teacher, doctors, Keep writing, everybody. Keep writing. You can give me any profession which you think are the community helpers. Keep typing, everybody. Super. Good job. You all know so much about community helpers. But do you know different types of tools are used by community helpers? Do you know this? If yes, type yes in the chat box, everybody. Keep typing. Keep typing. Many community helpers have to use different special tools to do their job. So let's look at them. Are you all excited to learn more? Type excited in the chat box, everybody. Keep typing, everybody. All right, let's start with the first one, doctor. A doctor takes care of people's health. How? By giving regular checkups and helping sick or injured patients. Do you know doctor wears a long white coat? Why? Because in their pockets, they need to carry tools like scissors, thermometers, or any other thing. Do you remember? All right, let's look at the tools used by the doctors. Stethoscope, thermometer, syringe. Keep typing all these words in the chat box and also make sure you're writing in your books. All right, let's look at the next community helper. Dentist. Dentists diagnose and treat problems with patients' teeth and gums. Have you ever visited any dentist? All right, so you must be knowing what tools they use. Dentists use a variety of equipment including x-ray machines, drills, mouth mirrors and props. So can you write now two tools used by dentists? Clue is there on the screen. Drill and mirror let's look at the next one nurse have you seen any nurse in the hospital or around you all right nurses 
help people who are sick or hurt. They wear white uniforms. Now, can you read the sentence along with me? They administer injections and medicines. They carry medical tapes, bandages and scissors. Now, quickly type in two tools used by nurse in the chat box. Bandage and syringe. Superb, everyone. Keep typing, keep typing. Next is police officer. Very important in a community. What do they do? They work to keep the community safe. They stop fights. They wear uniforms. And what do they carry? They carry portable radio and handcuffs. Have you ever seen any police officer carrying handcuffs or in the movies? If yes, type yes in the chat box, everybody. All right, they're responsible for putting criminals and thieves in jail so that we are protected from the thieves and the criminals. So the two tools used by the police are, keep writing in the chat box, portable radio and handcuffs. And if you know any other tools used by police, keep typing that also in the chat box. Keep typing, everybody. Next, traffic policeman. A traffic policeman officer helps the people to be safe where? On the road. Superb. They also give speeding tickets when a car is speeding. Don't you think this community helper is very useful for us and very important for us? If yes, type yes in the chat box. And also write two tools used by the traffic police officers. They are whistle, ticket vending machine, and nowadays mobile phone. Wow. Now let's look at the next one. But now you'll have to guess who is this person. This person works in the parks. Do you know him or her? Yes, gardener. Gardeners work in gardens. They grow plants, water them, and take care of them with love and care. So the tools used by them are watering cans, rakes, and shovels. Now quickly type in tools used by gardener in the chat box. Come on, everybody. Yes, watering can and shovel. If you know any other tools, what are you going to do? You will write that name also in the chat box. All right. Let's look at the next one. Carpenter. Have you seen carpenter working at your place or nearby? If yes, type. What will you type? Type yes in the chat box. Come on. Okay. What do the car uh, carpenters do? Carpenters use wood to build things. They use hand tools such as hammer, cross cut saw, wood cheese cells and screwdrivers. They also use electronic tools such as power drills. Now any of the tools you have seen, if yes, type that name in the chat box and also write these two tools which are used by carpenter, hammer and saw. One more time, hammer and saw. Next one is plumber. Very important at our house. Plumbers fix pipes in buildings. They fix sinks, toilets, and bathtubs. So the tools used are pipe wrench, pliers, tape, etc. So read it loudly with me. Tools used by a plumber are wrench or you can write pliers in the chat box. Come on, everybody. Now, the next person is very important because it is related to our hair. They dress our hair. Can you guess that word in the chat box? Something related to hair. The word is related to hair. All right. The person is barber. A barber, what does it do? A barber helps us to manage our hair. He gives us a haircut, styles, and dresses our hair for us. So the tools used by the barbers are comb, razor, and scissor. Do you know any other tool used by barber? Write that in the chat box along with these two words, scissors and comb. One more time, scissors and comb. Next is tailor. Who? What does they do? Exactly. Tailor 
sews or stitches new clothes for us. They use a measuring tape, scissors, and a sewing machine for sewing our clothes. Now, the tools used by Taylor are, you'll have to read this along with me loudly. Sewing machine, scissors, and measuring tape. Great job. Next is cobbler. Cobbler plays a very important role in our community because they mend our shoes. He uses a shoe horn, needle, and thread for this. So the tools used by cobbler are needle and thread. Keep writing in the chat box, shoe horn. Come on, everybody. You can write this. All right. Next is very important person you must have seen. This person in the morning or the in the evening cleaning your streets. Yes, you guessed it right. Sweeper. A sweeper, what does it do? Helps us to keep our school, society and other places clean. So the tools used by sweeper are broom, mop and nowadays vacuum cleaner. So read along with me loudly. Tools used by a sweeper are broom, mop, vacuum cleaner. Good job. All right. Before I just ask you the next person to guess, can you tell me your favorite teacher in your school? Come on, type your favorite teacher's name in the school. Yes, we're talking about teachers. So come on, quickly write down your favorite teacher name in the chat box. By then, I'll tell you what does teacher do. Teachers teach children reading, writing, spelling, and many other subjects. If you agree with this, type agree in the chat box. Come on, type agree in the chat box if you agree with this. So the tools used by teachers are pens, chalk, duster, board, markers, and books. And nowadays, laptop and mobile phone because we have online classes now. All right, before we move on to the next one, let's write down in the chat box tools used by teacher. Chalk and duster. You can also write any other tools which you know used by the teacher in the chat box. All right, let's move to the next one. Firefighter, very important person in our society, in our community. So firefighters fight fires. They wear protective clothes. They help our community by saving people from dangerous fires. They have a big hose to put out giant fires. So now can you write two tools used by firefighters? Fire hose and fire extinguisher. You must have seen this fire extinguisher nearby in your society also. Right? All right. If you agree with this, what will you do? Type agree in the chat box. Already have learned so much about five uh, community helpers and the tools used by them. Can we revise quickly about it? All right. So the first question is, what does a plumber use? Very easy. So the two options are chalk and duster. And the second option, pipe wrench. So what will you do? You will tell me the correct answer. And also the option which is incorrect, you will tell me who used that, right? Who uses that particular tool? And the answer is the plumber uses a pipe wrench. So the chalk and duster are used by a teacher. Good job. Let's move on to the next one. What does a chef use? Is it apron or handcuffs? Come on, A or B, which is the correct answer? Chef, remember chef, what does it use? Absolutely right. The chef uses an apron while handcuffs are used by policemen. Very good. Let's look at the next one. What does a teacher use? I don't think you need option for this. But let me give you options. Chalk and duster or medical tapes. Come on, quickly type your answer. Is it A or B? Absolutely right. The teacher uses chalk and duster while medical tapes are used by Doctors or nurses. Super. Let's move to the next one. What does a doctor use? The options are stethoscope or hammer. Very easy. 
Yes, it's option A. Doctor uses a stethoscope. Superb. While a hammer is used by whom? Plumber or a carpenter? Give your answer in the chat box. All right, let's move to the next one, the last one. What does a sweeper use? Option A, broom. Or option B, pan. Come on, keep typing your answer. Which is the correct answer? Broom or pan? Yes, absolutely right. A sweeper uses a broom. While pan is used by a chef in the kitchen. Great job, everyone. I'm so proud of you all. You have participated so well. And those who couldn't write your answers, you can still go through the video again. So let's go to the activity time. And the activity, what are you going to do? Click on the link which is shared in the chat box. Go to that Google form. Write your name, school's name, correct answers. And then what are you going to do? Submit button. Do not forget to click on that submit button, which is very important. And after that, show me a thumbs up in the chat box come on everybody i'll give you five seconds to do this and for those who cannot click on that link copy that link click and paste on the browser so and that after that google form is right there write your name school's name correct options and then submit the google form after that show me a thumbs up in the chat box i want to see all of you participating in this activity also with that end too come on everybody keep doing it five Four and those who could complete, take a count along with me. Three, two, and one. Those who couldn't finish it, you can still do it. You can submit your forms after this also. So that's it for today. We have learned so much about community helpers and the tools used by them. See you all again in the next session. Till then, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends and relatives. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, everyone.